in this video you want to solve some of the problems with relating to trigonometric equation right so trigonometric equation yeah, okay so you are going to solve some of the questions that relate to a trigonometric equation the the hint for solving this thing is to uh, when it comes to identity you should know what to use and when it comes to equations like this you should know how to go about it so here is a very simple example that says uh, so for x in what uh, this uh, sine squared s and then plus or sine s equal to equal to zero is that okay this is so for x in. don't let this thing scare you this is similar to something like uh, if you have a question like let's say a squared uh, plus a uh, equal to zero right how do you solve this thing, right how do you solve this thing? yeah you can start to factor the a out here we believe it or a and then plus one right so meaning we are bringing one of this a out okay here we left it what a and then here we are going to leave it or one then everything is equal to zero is okay so some may say that if you bring this a out you are going to leave it to zero the trick here the trick the trick to to this problem here is that uh, once you factor out, right? So look at the trick here. So why, once you factor out here, once you factor out whatever the variable is, make sure that you decide you you may choose to multiply this guy, right? So multiply this guy by this will give you more a squared. That's exactly what you are having. And this multiply by this will give you more positive a. Is that okay? So that is exactly what you are having here, right? So if you here were to be zero, here you are going to have a zero, which is not the same as the equation that we are having uh, at the top. Is that okay? okay so that is just the simple trick and the scenario on how to uh, factor that now now that if you've, you've already factored out now what you are going to use uh, how do you solve this problem that you quit whatever is here which is a equal to the number here which is zero meaning that a is equal to zero and then the second one is that we are going to use a plus one that is equal to zero this implies that we have our a here to be equal to a negative one because we are subtracting one from both sides of the equation right so this is how simple you solve up. Uh, this type of uh, the same idea the same scenario that we are going to use to solve uh, this uh, uh, trigonometric equation you know, okay so here you are going to factor one of the sign out so you are going to have sign what sign s out then you will be left with sign s here right and then plus one you know, okay so out of this we are taking one the sign out everything is equal to zero so you quit each of these things equal to zero and then solve very very simple right so you equate this guy equal to zero you equate whatever is inside the bracket also equal to equal to zero so now you have what uh sign s here equal to zero and what and what the second one is that uh sign what s plus one equal to zero right and then we are going to solve for sign s so you subtract one from both sides so you have what uh sign s equal to what? Uh, negative four. Is that okay? Remember, the question is saying that you should solve for x, right? So solve for the s. The boy here, the boy by name of x. So how do you solve for s from each of these things? So from here, you are going to take a sine inverse. Just like uh, the idea is that if you have something like two s uh, is equal to one, you divide both sides by what two, and then here by two, right? So you have your s is equal to one over two. Is that okay? But if if we, you are in trigonometry, so this guy here, for us to take the sign out, we are going to take what, a sign inverse, of what we call it a sign inverse, right? So sign inverse of both sides will give us what, uh, this is how you write the sign inverse, right? So that's the notation, right? So, so the sign inverse of this guy here, and then take the sign inverse of what, the zero here. So you are going to have what, uh, this guy here, x here, s to be equal to a sign inverse of what, zero. Is that okay? So, right so that's just the simple idea for this one yeah so if you solve this equation here, here you take a sine inverse here meaning that this sign will go away is that okay so that's the scenario sine inverse of this two equal, meaning that this guy will cancel that right so that's the idea behind and then whatever you do on the left hand side you must do the same thing on the right hand side right so here you are going to have s is equal to a sine inverse of zero so you may try this thing on a calculator and have a the answer so if you know how to read your trigonometry that is very very easy if you don't know just use the calculator and then and move forward but here too here we are going to have a, so take a sine inverse of both sides so we are going to have s is equal to a, a sine inverse of a, a negative form right so sine inverse of negative form so the sine 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 inverse of a, uh, the zero here will give us what uh, 80 degrees right so sorry 180 degrees here and then sine inverse of this guy will give us a, 
270 degrees. Is that okay? So these are the two solutions that we are having. So you have the x to be equal to 180 degrees as well as s is equal to uh, 180 degrees. Right? Sorry, 270 degrees. So let's have a look at this next question. So this is another question that says that if you have two sine squared theta, right? So this guy is just a theta. It's equal to what? one plus cos theta. Is that okay? So don't let, don't worry about this thing at all. So what you know earlier on is that this can be any variable, right? So you can rewrite this thing to be. So look at this guy to be any variable. Let's say x squared here, yeah, right? So because of this square, so you have what? two x squared. Now this is equal to what? one plus or this is another variable so let's say plus or plus y is that okay and then I did just just for understanding people right so this is just for understanding people now here here in trigonometry what that you are asking us to find that they want to find this theta right so you want to find the theta here this guy is a theta and we are told that the guy by name theta cannot go beyond what uh, 90 years is that okay so it can be from uh, a zero to uh, 90 90 years of age does it make sense so zero to nine you cannot go beyond this right you cannot go beyond you cannot be less than zero you cannot uh, also go beyond or 90 degrees. that is the condition so two ways of solving a trigonometry the idea is that the one that you solve first one just requires some little algebra right so just simple scenario but here you are going to have a two that called a trigonometry called identity right so trigonometric identity which identity are you supposed to use to arrive at what your solution Okay, so the identity that we are going to use here, the identity are not nothing, but they are just some of the tools that we use to solve a trigonometry, right? So the identity that we are going to use here is what uh, 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 we have the uh, sine, sine. So let me change the, the pen here. We have what uh, we have sine, sine squared, maybe theta or s. So here we are using theta. So let's use theta plus of uh, cos squared. Uh, because square theta is equal to one is okay this is identity the meaning of the identity is that there are tools that we can easily use and apply them in solving our problem right so here all right the reason why we are using this thing is of we can see sine squared here is okay sine squared theta so this theta can be s or can be any variable right so you have sine squared or theta is that okay? So that's why we are using this identity. So you have to know some of the identity relating to what the trigonometry. If you want to know more about the identity, make sure that you comment down below. Is that okay? So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Okay, so this is the guy that gives us what the idea that this is what uh, we are going to use something the identity that relates to a sine square theta plus of course square theta is equal to one this is just an identity a definition that you just need to apply there's no need for you to prove this thing on our uh this, this this question here okay now we have you you can only see a sine square theta here so you have to make the sine square theta the subject over right? so let's make the sine square stand alone on one side that is equal to one minus of cos of uh cos squared and then uh, theta is that okay so because it's only sine square that we are seeing here right so it's only sine square that we are seeing here so here meaning that whatever we see the sine square here we are going to replace that by what uh one minus what cos squared and theta right so we are seeing sine squared here right sine squared theta so let's re replace that by what uh, uh one minus what cos squared and then theta so here we are going to have two our two is there and then to bracket we have uh, this guy here to be what the sine square, which is what uh, one minus what cos squared and then theta is that okay. So that's the replacement that we are doing. We are just replacing, which is equal to equal to what and then one plus what cos what cos theta. We are not doing anything, just that we are doing what replacing this guy. Here. Is that okay? The idea, the reason why we are placing the cos the sine squared here is that. We want everything to be in one uniform. What I mean by the one uniform here is that we have a cos here. So we can see that once I made a replacement, everything here has turned to be a cos. I can see a cos here. I can see another one. cos here. So what are we are going to do? We are going to expand this bracket. So 2 multiplied by this one will give us 2, right? So my, by this, you get this multiplied by you give us a negative 2 cos of square theta. That is equal to 1 plus of, uh, cos theta. 
Is that okay? So let's turn everything to the uh, left hand side, right? So we are solving. Remember, the question is asking us to find what uh, theta. So once you have everybody to be in one uniform, you can easily determine what their age is. So here you have a two minus or two cos squared theta, yeah, minus one, and then what minus or cos theta that is equal to zero. So we are sending everything to uh, the left hand side. So there is just need to solve. Uh, this thing so make sure that you try just try this you try this and pause the video and come back and come and check the solution so the way to rewrite this thing is that we are going to use the concept of what uh, uh, quadratic right so something called a quadratic equation that's something that we know how to solve right so you have what uh, a quadratic what, uh, equation right so you have a quadratic equation this is something that we know how to solve right if you don't know how to solve this thing just comment down below or subscribe to the channel and check our playlist on this thing okay now how, how, how does that thing looks like the quadratic equation looks like so let's rearrange this guy here you have a number here a number here so let's then all of them come together so we are going to have a negative two cos square theta right this guy first and then followed by your brother which is what negative for cos of theta here yeah so we are going to left it for uh, this number here which is a positive two and then here is also negative for one right we are not doing anything we are just uh, rearranging everything here right so once you rearrange here we are going to have a negative two cos of square theta here and then minus of cos theta here this guy plus this one give us uh, a positive one so everything uh, is equal to zero is that okay so everything is equal to zero. Now remember, the idea of solving a, a, a quadratic equation is that the number, it, it should in case you forget how to solve the quadratic, well, this is how it looks like a squared and then plus or bs plus c equal to zero. Yeah, this thing here, the, this guy, this guy, this guy, are uh, just any number that's uh, attached to that. But the key here is that the, this number that is attached or oh, a friend of the x squared here can never be negative. Neither it can be zero. Is that okay? So you can never be what negative, no, you can be what zero. None of these two. So the number that's attached to the x square here, the friend of all, the x squared, the square here can never be negative. Is that okay? And then once again, it can never be zero. But look at what is happening here. Here we have the number that is attached to this guy here to be what? Uh, uh, negative. Okay, first of all, you may you may choose to replace this guy. So you can say that let a is equal to a uh, cos of cos theta right so a is equal to cos theta the reason why we are doing these things that you want to see the quadratic equation right or maybe you consider let x so that is something familiar that we know so let x is equal to cos s uh, cos theta s. so wherever you see the uh, how do you call it uh, cos theta we are going to replace that by uh, by a so you maybe consider replace right so that's just a simple way to understand so you can say what replace here so replace s equal to what cos theta or replace cos theta by s whichever way so whatever you see the cos theta you are going to replace that by what x so we have a negative two right so negative two uh cos square theta meaning that we are going to have s squared right so s squared and here is a minus of x and then plus one equal to equal to zero this is exactly the emphasis that i was what i was learning right so i let the emphasize that the guy was that out to what the x squared here can never be negative is that okay so if that is the case so let's send everything to uh, the right hand side of the equation for us to avoid this negative number now so if you send everything to the right hand side of the equation you can see that this guy we are uh, omitting this negative number right so we are going to have uh, 2s squared plus s here right so this guy once you cross you become a positive and then here also tends to go a negative so we know how to solve this quadratic if you don't know how to solve this quadratic by factorization method make sure that you comment once again in the comment section so by the factorization method if you solve these two guys you are going to have a, uh you are going to have uh two two factors right so the two factors here are going to have two s minus one and then we also have s plus one right s plus one so this is how simple you solve this if you so, if you don't know how to solve this quadratic comment down below right you just need to find the ac and then the factors of the ac and then move. comment if you have any issue right so here solving for the s means that we are going to solve each of each of these uh, brackets right so you have a uh, 
uh, 2s minus 1 equal to 0 the number here uh, meaning that we have this implies that our x is equal to uh, positive 1 over 2 right so this guy man plus 1 for the both side and then you divide by 2 so we have the s to be uh, negative uh, sorry 1 over uh, 1 over 2 remember remember this x here we are the people who introduce the x right we have what x to be equal to 1 over 2. Remember, this x is not part of the question that they gave to us. We are the one who introduced this x, right? So, as at this point, we said that we placed x by our cos theta. So, mean that once you solve for this guy, you have your x to be what? A 1 over 2. Meaning that this x here is the cos that we replaced with earlier one. So, you had a, a cos theta, right? We are bringing our boy back. Is that okay? We just delegate some of their power to you to take over. So, once we are back, we have to take over. Okay, so we have because uh, theta is equal to uh, 1 over 2. Uh, yeah, once this is you find theta, so remember what we did in the first part. So we are going to take out the cos inverse of this guy. So you have theta is equal to uh, cos inverse of uh, 1 over 2, right? So you have theta to be cos inverse. Make sure that you write the answer for this thing in the comment section below. And then you are done. You have to solve the second part, right? So here is the second part. So you are going to have uh, s plus 1, that is equal to s plus 1, which is equal to equal to zero you have the s to be a negative one so remember this s here is of cos theta so you have a, a cos theta is equal to negative one so theta here is equal to cos inverse of a negative four negative four negative four right cos inverse of negative one so give me the answer to these two guys in the comment section below so once again don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this